I think that there's no good reason why this board would accept a budget that imposes more pay cuts on the workers at City College, that fires more people. California is, I said it again, as I said again, California is a land of fabulous wealth. I think that you know, and I know, and everyone here knows that the problem is that the people holding the wealth don't want to give it to public education. The reality is, you think that the cuts are inevitable instead of saying the, what needs to be said, that the money is there. We just think that you don't understand the problems that we face and how yeah. imposing austerity even further is making it impossible for us to get by. Classes are not being available and those that are are alienating students. The most immediate thing you could do would be immediately to call on the city government, the state government, and the federal government to bail out CCSF. That is the most urgent and most concrete thing you can do. Said, except the health of the president of the trustee, except the health that the, that the state chancellor's board is willing to give you. Look at what happened, he said, at Diablo Valley College. Look at the great job they did there. They said cut them! They said cut them! They We saw what they did to the Diablo Valley College. They gutted it. No to the special trustee. We don't want austerity. No to the special trustee. We don't want austerity. No to the Special trustee makes a recommendation, but we as a board disagree. What exactly? You know, who supersedes who in terms of decision making? The reality ultimately is that if we do not actually fight back, if we continue to go on this process, if you continue to listen to those who would accreditate us, uh, that's, that's ultimately a process that will lead to the dismantling of uh, City College out here. We can't have open discussion about the, the trustee. I think folks are, I mean, I think if we're going to vote, I think at least we have the obligation to ask some more questions. The whole method that you've been organizing around is to keep students out of this process. They want to take away remedial, they want to take away arts, they want to take away lifelong learning, um, and the students are saying no. And we don't know yet how much the special trustee is going to cost. The fact that you guys voted on this without knowing the cost is to me just true. <laughs> Mike Jack! 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 M
Marchant! Marchant! I propose! I propose! That we convene! That we convene! The People's Board of Trustees! The People's Board of Trustees! <laughs> This didn't just happen spontaneously. There's an organization called Save CCSF that has been organizing to say no to this. And we would love it if everybody here could get involved because if we have even more people participating, we're gonna have even more of an impact and we can actually stop this. So it, it's gonna take a struggle, right? It's gonna take a fight. And either you're gonna fight with us or you're gonna fight against us. We need to get that money. Um, it's our future and we're looking to, there's some good examples for us to look to right now. Um, the students in Quebec just led a six month strike and they stopped the tuition hike. They got the money because they fought for it. The teachers in Chicago, they're fighting for a raise. They don't think they should have a pay cut. They do, they do the work of educating our children. We should value that and they're fighting for it. So either you're gonna fight with us or you're gonna fight against us, but there's gonna be a fight. Education must be free of